So the Jews had left Egypt and received the Torah, and now, as they wandered in the desert for 40 years, they were faced by a slate of new challenges, both physical and spiritual. In Parashat Chukat, something very strange happens. The Jews start whinging and complaining about the food, the water, the emptiness of life in the desert, and the whole experience since they left Egypt. God sends what the Torah calls burning snakes to bite the Jewish people, causing a great many of them to die. The Jewish people go to Moses and say, we know we shouldn't have complained about this whole desert thing, but please ask God to get rid of all the snakes. And he does. He begs and pleads with God on their behalf. And so God instructs Moses to build a huge fiery copper snake and coil it on a huge post. Then get everyone to look up at the snake and everyone who's been bitten will be healed and live. At a glance, this seems to go against the precept, do not make graven images and do not worship idols. But we need to remember that God himself told Moses to build this copper coiled snake and it wasn't supposed to be as a god or god substitute. The snake itself has a far greater significance within Judaism. Since the very beginning of time, since the memorable event in the Garden of Eden, the snake has represented spiritual immaturity. The snake is a manifestation of that little voice in our head, often called the evil inclination, which leads us down the wrong road by instilling thoughts of fear and doubt in our hearts. Sometimes we're on the correct road, a good path, on a journey to great things. But sometimes if we don't see immediate results that we can quantify, we start to doubt ourselves. We get scared and that little voice in our head starts to say, hey, maybe we're doing all this all wrong. Let's just give up and try something else, something easier. So God's instruction to build a large fiery copper snake was not an exercise in idol worship at all. Rather, it was a fear removing tactic an enormous example of that palpable fear that was biting them all and causing their spiritual strength to die. Psychiatrists and therapists will tell you that the best way to tackle any phobia is to learn to look at it and to ask, what is it that I fear so much about this? And why am I so scared of this little thing when I can be so much stronger than it? It was such a valuable lesson in asserting oneself that the Jews learnt there in the desert. And one we must keep in mind in all our wanderings. If that voice in our head tells us to get scared and give up, we have to walk right up to our fear, stare it straight in the eye and say, not this time, buddy. We must look directly at that which we fear most. Look up, be healed and live. I guess it's no wonder that until this very day, the symbol for medical healing is still the coiled snake.